I can handle his punches. He's just too fast. Was that basically the story of the fight? Yeah, he was, he was too fast. Falkert was too fast. <laughs> did, did you have any idea coming in that he could be that way? No, no. I, I seen him on tape and stuff like that, but I didn't. I was like, oh, I could do with that speed. You know, the power is what I wanted to worry about. But it wasn't so much about it, it was just that he was so fucking fast, man. Fast, fast, fast. Amazingly fast. Fucking amazingly fast. Uh, I was like, I thought Freddie was in there fucking hitting me too. So, uh, <laughs> you know. Hey, you know what? It happens. You, you go into the fight and... Um, you go in and you risk it. Well, with a guy like this, Manny, shit. At least I say I, I fought a, a good fighter, man. And that's all I want. I want to fight. That's it, man. You got cut on the nose, uh, I think, in the first round. By the second or third round, the cut above your eye uh, appeared. Obviously, Jimmy was trying to do everything he could to stop the cuts, but the blood kept coming. How much did that bother you during the fight? No, it didn't bother me at all. I thought he had a knife with him, though. I thought he, uh, he was cutting me up with a blade. But he, was, he was fast. He was faster than what I expected. Um, I, could, I, I could deal with the power, but it was just his, his speed was more than what, what I thought it was. And uh, I got tricked by his speed. Better. Right. better and better. And as begins to hit him in the body, mixing his punches brilliantly. Cactus Diaz. And you heard Freddie Roach very pleased. And a beautiful job of boxing. Good left hand by Diaz. Caught Pacquiao. But I don't know if he can keep that up all throughout the whole fight. Big left over the top by Diaz. Already, the manager of Diaz normally works in most fights. You Here we see Pacquiao through something that's very unusual, beautiful combination. Right uppercut being followed by left up, right uppercut up between the gloves. That make it only seven of twenty-five for Diaz. Fans over top is doing so many different things. He looks spectacular again with that right hook up combination. Tremendous work with. Two body shots from Diaz. You see right here, you see Pacquiao throwing his right hook, something that he can't normally do when he's fighting the standard right-handed fighter, and he seems to love it. That's been his pet punch so far the rest of the, most of the fight. And finally, he'll pull his right hand back. It's amazing. I mean, Gray Jones used to do it. He hit Diaz with everything with the stool. And he's blinding speed and at distance. Pacquiao would be able to cut Diaz up. And try to do more damage, and that's what he's trying to do. Leaving himself open. Speed and, uh, and the fact that Pacquiao's doing everything and moving and twisting. And in the lightweight division. A non-stop aggressor with speed and power. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. The edge. And they throw at the same time. The difference it's, in hand speed is so unbelievable. The hand speed. Here we see what possibly could have been the cause of the uh, butt, which was a head butt right there. Well, that created the big cut over the right eye. But it's a moot point whether the cut is created by a butt or a punch at this point because of the violent onslaughts that Pacquiao... Yes, it's going to be very hard for him to pull this fight out. You know, and even when he comes Pacquiao, just a little too fast. Just a little too sharp and, and steadily moving and twisting and turning. Punching going in and out, and Diaz just in his footwork, he's just too clumsy and slow and stiff. Two good body shots this turn. He won't take no for an answer. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Uppercut stuns Diaz again. Face of all that comes forward. It's Pacquiao. Marquez has one. Hard left hand by Diaz momentarily stops the Pacquiao assault. Starts bleeding as if they didn't put anything. He's not exactly a power puncher either. No way Diaz will quit. He's totally willing to go out on his shield. So that's already done. The David Diaz. Resolutely in round six. The storm once again continues. A tsunami, a hurricane. A tornado. He's not his punches. He's just too fast. Right. Here. Here we see Pacquiao throwing punches in such a volume, and they're all coming from different angles. He's mixing up, and that's why it's so 
hard for Diaz to stop the punch. Because he's not just doing one punch or two, it's just the speed and the variety of punches is just too much for him. That cut is being made worse by in this fight unless he ends up with another disqualification. He's had an autograph that he does doing homework as a study. 130, and Emmanuel, I think the early returns. Top for the center. Referees would have to stop the fight. Fires a straight jab, comes forward to make clear, I'm still a fighter. I'm not as going to get hurt by continuing to take punishment in a fight where he's not going to go down, not going to go down. But if you on your back is the three, and the medical supervisors at ring. Not going to fight now. Increasingly on the defensive, Diaz must now be given to stopping the fight in the ninth. He's had his moment in the sun. How many more? Down he goes, and Dracula stops the fight. He should have never got to that. Welcome to the lightweight division. By the end of this year, where does the spotlight fall? Right here. Here do you see Pacquiao land a beautiful short left cross right over the shoulder. Diaz never even saw the punch. Jab. Left hand. Good night. Merciful. Finally, the merciful knockout we were talking about. Yes, it was. First place. Right on the chin. Through eight rounds, the three judges' scores were 80 to 71, 80 to 72, 80 to 71. Totally academic. It was a bloodletting from about the second round on. And if the question was, how good could Pacquiao look in his first fight as a lightweight, the answer is better than you might have believed. Manny Pacquiao was sensational tonight. He put on a clinic and it proved that he was much more than just a power puncher. A flame of pure fire. He did it all. Incomparable in the sport. There's only one. Portrait of a superstar, Manny Pacquiao in bold relief. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give the official time, a round of applause for a young man from Chicago with the heart of a lion. An Olympian and a world champion, David Diaz. Referee Vic Draculich calls a halt to this bout at two minutes, 24 seconds, round number nine. The winner by knockout victory, the fighting pride of the Philippines, now a four-time world champion and new WBC lightweight champion of the world, Manny Pac-Man. At ringside, the new lightweight champion of the world, Manny, congratulations on a brilliant show in your first appearance at 135. Thank you very much, and uh, to all the people uh, who's here tonight, so thank you very much, all of you. A question coming into the fight was, would moving up five pounds in weight in some way diminish your speed? Could you keep your power? By our lights, it appeared you were faster than ever and stronger than ever. Is that the way you felt? Yeah, that's why. Uh, what, what we train in this fight is uh, speed and power. And I'm very comfortable in 135 pounds. I feel strong. You cut him on the nose in the second round. He got a cut above the eye about a round or two after that. From that point forward, it was a bloody show. 
How difficult is it for you to keep going and keep thrashing an obviously outclassed opponent when you can see how badly hurt he is? Well, I think uh, Diaz is uh, he, he's, he's the toughest uh, opponent that I had before, and, and um, I, I'm very surprised that uh, he's, uh, he, he cuts a lot of uh, punches and he didn't knock down. In the early rounds. We've got a uh, videotape look at the knockout. Would you like to admire your work a little bit? Let's take a look at the knockout, and you can take a look at the perfect combination. Tell us what you're doing here. Right jab, left hand. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what our uh, 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 plant this uh, this fight. The left hand, you know, the and then also the right hand. So uh, I'm lucky tonight because uh, I, I win by knockout. So thanks God for giving me that strength. It's been a long time since you fought another southpaw, and it looked as though you were more able to use your brilliant right hand, that hook and the uppercut in this fight against a southpaw than even against conventional fighters. Did you know coming in that would be the case? Well, um, I tell you the truth, I, I'm, you know, uh, it's hard to fight a southpaw and... Uh... Uh, that's why um, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, very confident in this fight, you know. I'm just... Uh, uh, up my, my defense and you know, uh, job, job a lot. And I'm surprised in the, on the uh, ninth round and I knock him out. So Manny, there's been discussion of a possible third fight at this weight against Juan Manuel Marquez. There's been discussion by your trainer, Freddie Roach, standing right behind you, of maybe going up another five pounds and fighting Ricky Hatton. Which fight do you like? Well, um, sir, my job is... Uh, uh, I'm just a fighter. My job is to prepare in the ring and to fight. That's, that's the promoter job, you know. Um, I'm, I'm just a fighter to fight in the ring. Do you want to fight as soon as November, or do you think it'll be past the end of the year? Well, I, I can fight on November, so um, I'm, uh, I'm getting prepared on that. All right, and are you now the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world? Well, uh, thank you. Thanks, God, for giving me the, the blessings. And uh, to all the people who love boxing to support me, without you guys, I'm not here. So uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Manny, and congratulations on a great start.